Let's go across to our guest now joining us. Kalimul Hafiz is from the AIMIM. Kalikur Rahman is from the TRS. Monica Verma is political analyst joining us. And Kapil Madal is also political analyst. Kapil, let me come to you. You know, the problem in this case is that the goalposts keep shifting. As I mentioned a short while ago, uh, you may have heard if you were joined with us. In Nupur Sharma's case, some argued, including political parties, that because she is not being arrested, therefore the anger of the Muslim community is spilling out. In this case, Raja Singh was arrested. You just heard this Congress leader saying that he has to apologize. Nupur Sharma had apologized. Then why were people still batting, uh, you know, going uh, against her for her life? So, you know, these goalposts keep shifting. Ultimately, the law has to take its own course. But nobody can use anything as an excuse to take law into their own hands. And political parties that target, for example, the BJP for their spokesperson statements or for their MLA statements, they don't have anything to write home about. Look at the statements that are coming in from the AIMIM and the Congress today. So, so let me let me uh, start by saying very unequivocally that we are a country governed by rule of law. And in any given situation, if some offense has been committed, the person needs to be booked and the process of law should take its own course, whatever is the punishment, whatever is the process that should follow. Now, at the same time, I would also say that all these kind of lunatic fringe who are trying to, uh, you know, uh, who are... I think we've uh, lost that link. Monica Verma, do you want to continue on that before I go to our political representatives? You know, nothing suffices. Nothing will ever suffice. If the ideology is that we will behead you if you say something that we don't like against our prophet, nothing will suffice. One day people say apologize. People who apologize still get death threats. Some people are arrest, uh, arrested, yet they are killed. There are instances from earlier this year in Gujarat. So this goalpost just keeps shifting. I think uh, the pre previous panelist was talking about these being fringe elements, but unfortunately, you know, uh, these calls of Sarkhan Zuda are no more raised only by the fringe elements. The justification that is being given by the intellectual class of this country is very, very worrying. Mm -hmm. And I would like to, you know, make a point here by taking you back to what happened during the Ram Naomi processions and the Hanuman Jayanti processions. Yeah. There was a very convenient provocation theory that was invented by our own organic intellectuals. And they had said that, you know, the reason why stones were being pelted was because uh, they were being swords that were being wielded or probably, you know, they were uh, evidence of these... Uh, processions doing something with the mosque for maybe you know passing through from the lanes which had no no mosque. that came so later think, you know, monica that, that came later mm -hmm. initially the fact that they were passing through muslim areas was considered a provocation Ab itself absolutely absolutely shivani and you know this kind of threshold given to a certain community in a country is very very worrying not just for us but that community itself because you know this kind of violence when normalized doesn't only target other communities, it also leads to a lot of violence within that particular community. So, you know, just look at what's happening in Pakistan today. Uh, we all of us know, uh, all of us know what happened to Asya Bibi. Just yesterday, uh, you know, there was a Hindu person in uh, some area in Pakistan, in Pakistan's Hyderabad. Something took place, you know, uh, this person was being targeted, was yes. being founded. Over blasphemy uh, charges. Over an alleged blasphemy case. So yes. it hasn't been proven so far. But something that happened in Pakistan's Hyderabad has also happened in India's Hyderabad. And I think, you know, uh, taking pride in the fact that we are going on a very modern path, we've become a very, you know, a strong nation, uh, we've become a very good country, we are so progressive. But, you know, these uh, parallels between India's Hyderabad and Pakistan's Hyderabad are very worrying to any person who calls himself liberal No, and for also real, the problem is that even I mean, in Pakistan, they have a blasphemy law which, call, which has a death penalty. India, first of all, doesn't have any such law Absolutely. against blasphemy. Very... It only has laws which restrict your speech if you call for violence, if you obviously, you know, bring, uh, you bring disrepute to any community or spread enmity against any community and if you hurt religious sentiments. Now, there's a larger debate of whether the religious sentiments uh, part should remain or not remain because it has become an easy tool for everybody. But still, the law exists. You can file complaints and you can act. In Pakistan, people don't even wait. For the law to take its own course, we can't become that country, right? Kalikur Rehman? Only we are becoming that country. If Sarkhan Se Zuda, uh, you know, slogans are becoming this common every other day on Twitter, you know, you find a video from some part of the country. And in fact, we are not only talking about the slogan. So many people have lost their life. I've been keeping a uh, count of all these people through a Twitter thread on my own profile. So, so many people have actually lost their life for real. Kanhaiya Kumar, why are we... Kanhaiya uh, Lalji, how, how are we forgetting his name? You know, so Umesh many people Kohli. 
बोले या आई मीन कमलेश तिवारी इज अ वेरी क्लासिक एग्जाम्पल द लॉ वॉज टेकिंग इट्स ओन कोर्स इन हिज केस ही वॉज स्टिल बिहेडेड और हिज थ्रोट स्लिड एंड द फैशन इन विच इट इज डन इज वेरी क्लियर लेट्स नॉट फर्गेट वॉर एज एपन टू सलमान रश्ती सो यू नो इट डजेंट रियली मैटर whether sentiments have just been inflamed or not this is some sort of an institution working and the justification given is that this is the right thing to do if your prophet has been uh, disrespected or abused kalikur rahman why yeah. is the trs looking so selective yeah. today when it is acting on one side but is unable to control and send out a very direct message to those who are raising beheading calls no not at all it is uh, we have never been selective in our action and uh, for, uh, and let me tell you the my co panelist can i tell you can i tell you the irony been, no no let me let me let me let me complete i mean okay, go ahead. Asking, i'll definitely come to that okay, so my co panelist was saying that because there are some people who are trying to justify this kind of slogan first of all i want to tell her that because no one justifies hmm. you know uh, uh, the uh, tan se juda slogans and the, and first of all there is no comparison between hyderabad of india and hyderabad of pakistan okay. because pakistan is a totally banana republic and we don't want india to become a banana republic because of this hatred which is being seen on the streets today because of number 1 nupur sharma uh, derogatory remarks against one particular religion number 2 now t raja and after that bjp in fact had issued the guidelines to the cadre to the leaders but unfortunately i think uh, that those guidelines seem to have uh, been totally ignored by but this people are sorry just an you cannot that just name nupur sharma but, and uh, no, no, p I'm, raja I'm, 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 there are I'm, countless I'm, people see, sir one second no no khalik ji ek second ruk jaiye there are countless people who abuse others religion on a daily basis no no one second i will not allow you to make this a singular issue This is not an issue of one community Absolutely. alone. Exactly, that is what I am. Hindu to gods actually. and goddesses I'm, I'm are abused day in and day out by Muslims yes. in India too, not just in Pakistan. I am sorry to say, but there are not beheading calls given. It's See, not as if no there is only one community that is disrespecting no, no, another no, no, community's no, no, religion. I, I, no, no, I want to tell you, no one approves the beheading calls. Okay. Have you seen any? You know, I'm not no, asking you whether you do or not. Because, I'm asking you, I'm as a representative of the TRS, can yeah. I tell you the irony? Feroz Khan, yes. who is yes. making this open call for violence against Raja, is coming yes. on TV debates and sitting on TV debates. That's the irony. आपको पता नहीं है कहां पे है फिरोज खान व्हाई आर यू व्हाई आर यू कॉलिंग सच एलिमेंट्स टू योर डिबेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वांट टू आस्क ही इज नॉट ऑन माय डिबेट बट आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट्स द आई नीड टुडे ही इज अ फ्री पर्सन एज इट स्टैंड्स ही कैन गो टू एनी डिबेट माय क्वेश्चन टू यू इज व्हाई हैज द गवर्नमेंट नॉट अरेस्टेड हिम व्हाई हैज द गवर्नमेंट नॉट अरेस्टेड हिम the government is definitely taken the cognizance of that and police is there police is doing their job there is a system police will follow the law will take its own course police will definitely do whatever has to be done there no one will be spared and what about the ai mim counselor who made a beheading call yesterday definitely definitely whether it is ai ai mim counselor or whether whoever it is whichever com uh, community he belongs to whichever party he belongs to no one would be spared you are saying that but, but see, where is the action i, I want people I, want I, to I, see the action where is the alacrity uh, in this see the, the need of the yesterday to, the on my show hour, sir one second yesterday need, on my show same time this uh, last evening i discussed this issue trs representative said action will be taken soon soonest that's what i am 24 yes, yes, hours listen. have passed More See, people have come and made these calls. The topmost priority is to maintain the law and order. And how will you do that? We don't want Telangana to become another Rajasthan or some other state. Because what is important here is the maintenance of the law and order situation, and we are totally committed. to the security and the safety of the people of telangana okay. so that is the first and the foremost priority eh. and these people who have chanted these slogans at the same time they are also not going to be spared there is no place for such people there is